Trustees regular meeting to order on Thursday, January 8th, 2015 at 1805 hours. Director or Trustee Aronson, will you lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let the record show all trustees are present and Trustee Wesneski is joining us by speaker phone. Are there any additions or deletions to the agenda? I'm good. Okay. All right. Motion to approve the agenda. So moved. Is there a second? Aye. Second. All those second. in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, uh, review of the October 9th, 2014 regular meeting minutes. <laughs> You'd think that would be me. <laughs> Hey, Len? Yes? Uh, we're getting some crosstalk from somewhere. A lot of background noise. I'll go on mute. Okay. Get out of the bar. Either that or stay out of the street. He's in a restaurant. <laughs> I heard him order a steak and I went, that sounds good. Yes, what we might do. I move to approve the uh, minutes as submitted. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. All right. Uh, first order of new business is the third quarter allocation report. Well, that's just provided to us for information, right? By FDGA. Any questions or concerns from the trustees on the allocation report? I have none. Is there any action required on the part of the board? Just yeah. for information only, right, Vernon? Okay. All right, then uh, any other new business from the board? No. Okay, that'll take us to old. Uh, 2013 audit. Uh, that was in reference to uh, what the auditor brought up that uh, Darlene Coy had been awarded uh, a pension of $220 a month. And when the uh, FPPA. Can you put the speaker closer to the chief, please? Okay. Okay, uh, as I was saying, um, in the 2013 audit, it was brought up by the auditor that uh, they had uh, randomly checked a number of. Uh, the um, uh, pensions, and one that they found, uh, Darlene Coy had been awarded a pension of $220 by the pension board, but was only receiving $200 per month. Hmm. And in reviewing that, it turned out that when she had filled out the paperwork at, for FPPA, uh, she had written down $200 a month, so that's what they were paying her. Um, I had made several attempts to contact uh, Darlene Coy, uh, but she has not returned any phone calls. So I don't know if she's out of town at this point or uh, what uh, might the issue be. Uh, but at this point, I do not know whether, you know, the, her writing down 200 was intentional or whether uh, that was an oversight and uh, she wanted the full $220. And how far back does this go? About uh, 2010, yeah. So about five years we've been paying her twenty dollars a month less than she had earned. That's pretty easy math. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, so she, you, de she definitely will want to hear from you. <laughs> you would <laughs> think. One would hope. Yes. Okay. So we'll just wait to act on it until you. I, I would assume you know until okay. until we hear from her and she says yes yeah, she, I, I think she'll probably have to change redo that paperwork to say 
that she wants the two hundred twenty dollars right. in order to receive that from FPPA. So and then you'll alert us when you connect with her. Right, that's correct. Yeah. Have you tried emailing her? Or? Yeah, I think I'm the one that vocalized concern about that bill, and um, I think we we definitely just need to follow up on on it, maybe report at the next pension meeting. Okay, um, and uh, if I have her email, I'll send her a note. Okay, yeah, I just got her phone number and uh, yeah. I've been leaving leaving messages at her house, but yeah, no no response so far. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, that will take us to the uh, funeral benefit to Susan Emmy. If you recall, last pension meeting we were discussing that and we wanted to do a little bit of research and double check the... Uh, our bylaws as well as the actual pension laws which are included in your packet and I believe we looked back to do some research from history and a hundred dollars is the only thing we can find that's correct um, the, when Mr. Bernie passed away Mrs. Bernie sent in the change for his benefits to be then paid to her as the surviving spouse she had filled in the amount that she should be paid, which was a half of what Mr. Bernie was making. She also filled in under the funeral benefit the amount of $100. Um, as far back as I have been able to check, which is only the FPPA records, I can't get anything from the Colorado State Bank, um, that is the only funeral benefit that has been paid to um, yeah. as a funeral benefit. Um, because the law actually says uh, basically a minimum of $100. So you shall pay. Yeah, shall pay. No, of course. no less than $100. Okay. Um, and then the only other language is it basically it's up to us. Well, it says not more than twice the amount determined by the board under section 3130.11.22, which I assume, I don't know. And his. Which is twice the amount of what the person was receiving at the time of his death. <clears throat> In the monthly benefit. Correct. And he was getting. Uh, he was getting four hundred dollars a month. Okay. That's we're talking about Dan. Correct. Yes. Right. Right. So, so that okay. means the range that uh, you, you the minimum that you can award is one hundred. The maximum is eight hundred. Okay. That's a one time thing, not one close. That's correct, yeah. Okay. Any action? Any recommendations? I'd like to I'd like to put a motion on the table that we pay uh, Susan Emming eight hundred dollars. I'll say second that. Okay, motion made and seconded to pay Susan Emming a one time eight hundred dollar funeral benefit, which is in accordance with the statute. Right. Any discussion on that? Seeing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, that motion carries. Okay, uh, any other old business? All right, any other business to be brought before the board? Good. Good. Okay, and then I'd entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 At 1814. Fire Protection District Board of Directors regular meeting, Thursday, January 8th, 2015, at 1816 hours. Director Branch, will you leave us in the Pledge of Allegiance? Yes, of course. The Pledge of Allegiance is to the flag of the United, United States, States of America. America. And to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Let the record show all board members are present, with Director Wisniewski joining us by speakerphone. Are there any additions or deletions to the agenda? No. Okay. No. 
All right. Motion to approve the agenda. So moved. Seconded. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Review the December 11th, 2014 regular meeting minutes. I move to be approved to submit it. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Taste financial matters. Uh, we have the uh, first report for the end of uh, 2014 in your packet. Um, this is, of course, the unaudited report, uh, and just it's our sort of first run on where we stand as of the end of the year. Uh, the only thing I'll point out is that uh, uh, due to the delay in, in our uh, Compared to the budget of the equipment that we purchased, uh, we wind up with a larger uh, surplus than budgeted. But that's because we moved the, uh, the amount into this year, into, into 2015. Is that right? That's correct. Uh, we had a number of things that did not uh, that we did not uh, spend um, or purchase during the year, uh, and have uh, come up, you know, into uh, 2015 instead of 2014. So our original projections uh, ran a little lower than what we have in terms of, of uh, carryover at the end of the year. But it washes right out. We we anticipate spending, uh, you know, quite a bit of that money still. Okay. Um, you know, but uh, it's just going to be spent a little bit later than we originally anticipated. Are there any questions on the financial report? I have not. Okay, uh, then we'll move to the uh, approval of monthly expenditures. Um, I moved that uh, the board approve expenditures in the amount of $176,493. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Anything else of note? Nothing else. Okay, that'll take us to the fire chief's report. Okay, uh, so for uh, December, we ended up with 105 calls, which was uh, exceptionally good. Yeah, probably didn't move this yeah, okay. again. Uh, hang on just a sec. Thank you. Okay, so for December, we ended up with 105 calls, which is uh, above normal for the month. And in fact, as we got to the end of the month, uh, we got exceptionally busy. Uh, we ended up with uh, three structure fires, two of which occurred back-to-back uh, -back on a single night. Um, and uh, one was a, a garage fire that was a total loss, and the other one was uh, basically um, we lost the third floor of a, of a residential structure and considerable amount of the, uh, the uh, residence um, uh, uh, property, unfortunately. Uh, both of those were related to uh, heating. One was an electric blanket, and the other one was a heat lamp in a uh, doghouse adjacent to the garage. Mm -hmm. uh, and as, as is usually the case, they both occurred during uh, the very cold weather. Mm -hmm. um, we also were uh, busy with uh, motor vehicle accidents, um, and actually since the uh, beginning of the year, uh, we've had um, quite a few more. It got busy, as you probably are aware, we've We've had a number of uh, uh, car accidents and uh, started off the year exceptionally busy as well. I think we had 22 calls in the first three days of the year. Uh, so, wow. yeah, definitely um, off, to, off to kind of a rough start there. Um, EMS calls were also up with a significant number of those being uh, respiratory calls. Uh, in other words, people that we've been, we've been taking people from the, the clinic up here down for um, influenza or pneumonia on a pretty regular basis. Uh, so that got to be a pretty significant number of calls. And in fact, we had 50 transports for the month, which was up uh, about uh, almost 20 from the month before that. So quite a, quite a busy month there. Um, we, we were stacked on our calls on a pretty regular basis as well. Uh, Quite a few times we were three and four calls 
at a time going on um, towards the end of the year. Uh, and that did impact our response time, so it pushed out a little bit longer than we've been seeing in the last few months. And uh, again, with uh, 22 calls in the first three days of, the, of this year, we were running, um, again, about three or four calls at a time. Uh, it really, I think uh, that Saturday that uh, we had the fatality, um, basically every ambulance from 470 uh, to Kenosha Pass was out at one point. So we, um, we're definitely tapping this system in the entire area uh, during that, that snowy weather. Um, we were uh, slow on, uh, or pretty kind of slow on training during the month. And uh, frankly, other than running calls during December, uh, we didn't really have a lot going on um, between the holidays and uh, being exceptionally busy with calls. Um, you know, it was kind of a good time not to not to push a lot of other projects. Uh, kind of an update on um, we did get the uh, squad truck in, and uh, actually it went up to Oregon, got the body installed, and it should be back sometime this evening, uh, or possibly tomorrow morning. I haven't heard. Somebody said it was at Bay Idaho Bay. Springs. Okay. Yeah. Well, Idaho Springs is great. That's close. Okay. So. <laughs> We're tracking it here before, We're tracking here before the ice. ice. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Uh, he did send back pictures, and it really looked uh, really good. So we're, we're really uh, happy with the way that's turning out. Uh, we did finally get paid for the, br the brush truck, so it left last month. And um, we the, t the tenders, which we had originally been scheduled for 1st December, then January, are now uh, going to be sometime in February. So they're running a little bit behind on, on uh, the tenders. Um, we're still waiting on a date for those, but uh, it's looking like mid-February uh, to pick those up now. Uh, other than that, the only real project that we've got going right now is that uh, we've been, we have been spending a, a good chunk of December working on updating our standard operating procedures for the department and uh, continuing to finish uh, the rewrite of the personnel policies. Uh, we are going to be, tomorrow night we're going to have uh, the first 10 of those standard operating procedures uh, out to the membership. Uh, the personnel policies, however, are uh, still have to go to legal review, so I would anticipate it's going to be, I'd like to see them get to legal review this month and then uh, possibly back from legal sometime in February. And that's pretty much uh, uh, what we've had going on in the last uh, the last few weeks here. Thought the article on the news the article on the newsletter was good. Oh, good. Explaining that we did what we told the taxpayers. What we were doing. I was going to say the exact same thing. I really okay. appreciate how you wrote it. It was very well done. Thank you. Indeed. Okay. Uh, any questions for the chief? All right, that'll take us to new business. Uh, first item is the resolution to designate location to post notice of meetings. I just need a motion to adopt resolution 2015 1 1. So moved. Is second. there a second? Second. All those in favor? Second. Aye. Aye. Um, notice of regular meetings. We have to approve those. Just to acknowledge it so that then it's officially in the minutes. And that's okay. Okay, you all have the notice uh, second Thursdays of each month the rest of the year. Okay. And it will be reflected in the minutes. Uh, 2015 meeting schedule in your minutes. Next item. Uh, conflict of interest disclosures. I believe we've all done. Okay. Uh, review architectural qualification statement. Okay, we sent out a request for qual qualifications for architectural services for the remodel of uh, Station One. Uh, that was sent to uh, 12 architectural firms uh, in the area. Uh, we received only one. Uh, statement of qualifications back, which is from Giroux and Associates uh, of Walgreen. Um, 
and uh, I have that available if you'd like to look at it. Um, my recommendation would be uh, to uh, uh, make a motion to uh, allow me to enter into a, a contract with Jero and Associates to uh, pro provide architectural services uh, for the remodel of Station One. Real quick before we do that. Sorry, well, let's discuss it first. Sorry, real, real quick. Why do you think we only got one response? I'm, uh, I mean, or is it such such good business, which is what I think, uh, having done a little bit of stuff myself, that it's hard to get people to uh, get their attention and to respond? I would assume that's probably, yeah, that people okay. are busy. Um, do we have an idea of how much that's going to cost? We don't, because we really haven't... Uh, the architecture needs, needs to be scoped. Right. Right. Um, so, but I mean, what's the cost of the architectural services to scope those? I mean, are we, are we paying the architectural yeah, firm to do the firm. specifications on the model? Okay. That's correct, yeah. Sure. Um, and basically what we need to do is is uh, work on, you know, we have, there are two ways that we could have gone about this. One would have been to uh, basically have the whole project bid and cost at a time. Uh, but, um, that would probably have been uh, more time consuming and more expensive for us uh, up front. Uh, so by selecting an architect based on qualifications, we can then you know, basically sit down and work out what the scope of that is going to be and um, uh, you know, what the scope of the, the overall scope of the uh, project is going to be. Okay, so what are we approving tonight? For Just to enter into a contract to get a Architectural design. Right. To get a, a design and a bid. Right. Okay. Yeah. I'll second that. Okay. Motion's been made and seconded. Any other discussion? See none. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Anything else on that? No, that's all. Uh, 2014 volunteer pension. Is this where I get to read all the names? Okay, this will be the reading of the volunteer pension, uh, good years, parcel years, and non-qualifying years. And then you'll just need a motion at the end to approve it. Okay. All right, the following members have completed good pension years for 2014. Scott Aronson, Luca Fabry. How do you pronounce his name? Fabry. Fabry, okay. Uh, Larry Hauser, Chris Moya, David Haight, Ryan Kessler, Wendy Zeckman, Michael Davis, Nick McKibben, Carrie Kern, Sheena Tamberlin, Vincent Van Benzenbergen, Cassandra Guy, Logan Sedillo Scott, Nels Larson, Simon Young, Philip Briggs, Will Bruce, Timothy Godfrey, Berkeley Guy, Aaron Henson, John Sutton, Brandon Trosh, Burgess Rio, Cypher Emily, and Jason Byrne. Following members have completed a partial year due to uh, leave of absence. Lauren Schlesser, Jareth Phelps, Tyler Hayden, and Nicole Lyons. Following members uh, have non-qualifying years. Alan McIver, Dane Bungart, Rungart, Douglas Wilson, Jeff Zeckman, John Halston, Justin Summers, Kevin Devaney, Linda Morrison, Matt Scheel, Mitch Hartzler, Morgan Boldrin, Pete Eigel, Quisner Patrick, Sean Boyce, Tyler Seifer, Jesse Winfield, Ryan Gephardt, Renee Ordays, Cody Cox and Ryan Tinky. Motion to approve that list. So moved. Is there a second? Second. Aye. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, motion carries. Any other new business? No. Okay, any old business? Finally. Any citizens issues? Okay, how about a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 1831.
Okay, Len. 